dear participants to the European Youth Work Convention. It's really a great pleasure for me to be a part of this convention and to discuss environmental governance and its intersect with youth work with all of you. I was quite surprised to be invited also to this iteration of the Youth Work Convention. Back in 2015, uh, to the second one, I took part representing the European Youth Forum. But now I'm here with a different hat and uh, I'm going to be discussing with you how youth organizations and youth work can contribute to overcoming current and future challenges related to environmental governance and a more sustainable future. So environmental governance is quite a big word and it doesn't sound that inspiring. I'll break it down to us uh, how decisions are made and who are making them about environmental issues. And environment, it's so broad. It's about the quality of water, of air, of land, biodiversity, forests and the nature around us, and also climate and climate change. These are all building blocks of our everyday lives, not only about the future. It's about the economy of our livelihoods, of our security, of our well-being, our health, of our possibilities. And indeed also, it's a question of the future. And I admit, environmental topics can sometimes become quite technical. Uh, I want to stress that you don't need a master's in environmental science to discuss climate targets or pollution levels. Uh, just as you don't need a PhD in education to discuss uh, education policy. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for the facts and all for the science. Um, but political decision making should be happening once the facts are on the table. And in this, this decision making, young people need to be a part. And let me correct myself, do not only need to be a part, have a right to be a part of those decisions. And in some countries and institutions, there's, for example, work ongoing uh, with future proofing decisions or even establishing decision making bodies, ensuring that the interests of future gener generations are taken into account when decisions are made. I think this is a great way forward, but also a great place for young people and youth organizations to start and to get involved. The arguments are very clear. Young people clearly have larger stakes in decisions about environment and climate than older generations. And when talking about participation of young people into these processes, I want to reflect a little bit on the role of youth organizations. I do believe that these are youth organizations is one of the strongest, most powerful tools we have to engage young people in decision making, in empowering and educating, in ensuring that everybody can be a part of the conversation. We don't want decision making where only the most eloquent or the one that happens to come from the right family are a part. We want decision making where young people, no matter of background, can be involved. But also decision making where conversations with uh, groups happens, not only with individuals where the interests of larger groups are taking into account not only individual interests or individual opinions. And having said that, um, talking about the how, how environmental decisions currently are made, a couple of years ago or five, ten years ago, most decisions about environment were made in environment ministries or, or the local committee on environment and pollution. But this has very much changed. Uh, decisions about environment and climate are really made across and they are part of most political decisions today. Just to take my, my work as an example, I'm currently working with central banks and regulators in emerging and developing economies and what kind of financial regulation they can put in place to mitigate and adapt climate change impacts. So um, environmental decisions are everywhere and uh, that is also a great way for youth organizations um, as it also expands your scope of influence. If environment and climate decisions are everywhere and environment and climate policy are important decisions for the current and future well-being and access to rights of young people, then young people should be involved in that decision making. The argument is very clear. What is needed from youth work? It's to educate and to empower young people to take part in these decision making processes and from youth organizations to figure out the processes, how to be a part of them, how to influence them, and then to ensure that you are a part of those conversations and decisions. 
Youth work plays a crucial role in educating, empowering and coordinating young people to take part in decision making about their future and their today. For young people to be involved, it's not a courtesy, it's not a charity, it's definitely not a need. It is a right of young people to be involved in those decisions. Thank you very much. I look forward to the conversations later today.